My actual name pronunciation is Prabodh, but it's very difficult for most people to get it, especially in Malaysia. So I now just go by Prabodh, which is furniture in Malay. So everyone can remember my name, right? Uh, and uh, I am an accountant by background, by profession. And uh, Mita has been pretty much a housewife all her life. And uh, together we have started what is uh, called the Ganga Cafe. True. <laughs> I am born in Malaysia. I am first generation Malaysian, as in my father migrated to, to Malaysia in 1952. Uh, Mita is imported. She, she came in when we got married. So uh, she got here in 1991. One. I was born and brought up in Mumbai. I was in Bombay all throughout my life until I got married and I came here in Malaysia. My parents are in Bombay. Thank God. <laughs> it was an arranged wedding. So they organize uh, candidates and then I go and see them and then I select, uh, just like you go to the, to the market and take the apple that you like, you know. No, it, I'm not, I'm just kidding. So I met her and uh, she was number three. No, at the, at number three on the list of... <laughs> so she was the third uh, person I met to be my, my, my future wife and then... And it was uh, not easy. First time when we have meeting, it's just like uh, he will see me, how I walk, how I talk and then... I didn't see you how you walk. And then the next day, <laughs> they will call, the mother will call and say, yeah, my son likes, uh, likes the girl, are you interested? And then... I have to say yes or no, then my father will come and tell me, Mita, he's a nice, he's just a fat, but never mind. You know, but you know, it's uh, when time goes. I was slimmer you know, than her though. But. <laughs> <laughs> Within 15 days, I don't, I don't know him, he, do, he don't know me. 15 days we got engaged and we got married. And honeymoon. I was uh, doing a home catering with my friend and uh, it's been all this while it's been passion for me to cook I love to cook and then one day he took me to this place <laughs> called Ganga Cafe it's right in Bangsa I never been to that area so he said let's go and have to see in the morning then suddenly he told me next day itself you are the boss of this cafe and I said what I said I can do home catering in the house because no overheads, no people around. I have to do so many things if I run a restaurant. And then he just told me that Mita, this lady who is the owner of Ganga Cafe wants to, she's finding a, a person who is, herself is vegetarian and can run the show as a vegetarian. We love cooking. <laughs> uh, if you see the way my house is set up, uh, <laughs> you know, it's all built uh, for people to cook and entertain at the same time. I don't have a wet and dry kitchen. I have a kitchen and the kitchen is part of the home. You know, I don't like the idea that the women sit in one corner and cook while the men are in the other room waiting for food. Yeah, he won't say that I love my <laughs> wife so that I can see my wife in front of me. <laughs> That's right. I love my wife and you know, it, it pains me to know that I cannot see her. <laughs> My mom spent her entire youth in uh, Burma, mm -hmm. so she has brought a lot of Burmese uh, recipes, you know, So, and she has passed that on down to Mita. So you will find that a lot of Malaysians have got a lot of different ethnic uh, backgrounds and influences in their being, you know. Coming to Malaysia is about uh, experiencing people. Yeah, uh, for example, uh, we are a Gujarati home and uh, we are vegetarians, right? And then my sons are not vegetarians. And, uh, uh, but a lot of the food that we make in, in our home, while a lot of it is Gujarati, a lot of it is actually Malaysian food. When I was in the US, I always used to get the question, uh, hey, where are you from? And I'm like, I'm from Malaysia. And they're like, oh, but you don't look Mal uh, Malaysian, you look Indian. You know, and there's a high misconception, what is a Malaysian, you know? I mean, yeah. 
There is all the indigenous races in, in, in various parts of the rural Malaysia. And, and I think the word that was coined back then was Eurasians, right? Eurasians were European and Asians. And if I may bold, be bold enough to say that maybe Malaysian is the new word of Asian and Asian. You know, <laughs> because Malaysian is about so many different uh, cultures intermarrying and uh, living together. Uh, you, you will find it a very rich experience, you know. Malaysia is already very well assimilated. When you meet the man on the street, right, there is no racial issue whatsoever. I, I sit with my Malay friends, my Chinese friends, my friends who drink alcohol, my friends who don't drink alcohol, who have religious inhibitions, who don't have. There's no issue. I mean, so what is Malaysia? It's a great place. It's awesome. I, I, uh, I, I was offered the green card in America. I, I turned it down because I said, I want to go home. You know, this is my home.